It is I, Erasmus Darwin, and I have just awakened from my beauty sleep. You know, I had the most fascinating dream. What, you want to know about it? Well, I suppose I could tell you. So, in my dream, I was in this lush meadow with the greenest grass you could imagine. There's plenty of flora and fauna. And I was in this meadow, and I was petting this deer, and then I was planting trees. I saw everything working together in unison. And I thought, why can't life have come from one single unifying source? Come closer. Perhaps millions of ages before the commencement of history of mankind. Would it be too bold to imagine that all warm-blooded animals have arisen from one living filament, which the first great cause endued with animality, with the power of acquiring new parts, attended with new propensities directed by irritations, sensations, volitions, and associations, and thus possessing the faculty of continuing to improve its own inherent activity, and of delivering down these improvements by generation to its posterity. World without end! You know, I've read the work of James Burnett. He's been exploring the origins of language and society. Interestingly enough, he regards humans and apes quite distinct from the rest of the animal kingdom. Maybe he's right, you know. Like expanding from his theory, apes could have been the first indication of humanity, and then we could have come from apes, and then apes came from everything before it, and then basically everything can be traced back into one single source. Take selection of breeding, for example. Degenerative qualities can be inherited by successive generations. So by selective choice of mates, creatures can improve the next generation in a biological sense. There can be natural processes like this in evolution too. So therefore, that means life only needs to have started from one single source and just improved, so to speak, over an extremely long period of time. I think it is settled. One and the same kind of filament is and has been the cause of all organic life.